Hi beautiful. Uh, today I'm coming to you for another wig review. Uh, this one is going to be of Young by Ellen Villa, part of their Hair Power collection. Um, so let's jump right into it. Before we do, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in more wig videos, topper videos, tips and tricks stuff, make sure you're subscribed. That way you are notified when I go ahead and send a video. All right, so Young by Ellen Villa, and this is in a color sand mix, which I've had before. Um, I think I had it in Shuffle, which was a beautiful wig. Um, and yep, that's a beautiful color. A uh, sand mix is a gorgeous uh, ashy blonde tone. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, very well done packaging. Ellen Villa does a great job with their packaging. Um, hairnet, tag, everything's still in place. Let's take a look at her. Very light wig, very light. So Young by Ellen Villa appears to be a very pretty bob, um, very light, and it does have a monofilament parting space, but it's not a full mono, um, just a side monofilament there with a beautiful lace front. Uh, does, does still come with the felt covered ear tabs and an extended felt covered nape, which is really nice. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty standard. The uh, lace is temple to temple, so a full lace front right there. All right, let me go ahead and take this tag off and put her on for you. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit of shake because I am seeing a little bit of the permatees coming through the top. Um, not a ton of permatees in here. There is a little bit uh, just to give some of the volume, but just give it a little shake and that'll help it to uh, lay on top of the permatees, which is what it's intended to do. So right out of the box, very cute, very short bob. Um, let me go ahead and change the parting space here. I'll keep it in the same spot, but I wanna make it so you guys can see the gorgeous monofilament that they do. I'm rubbing my hands together to try and help the hair stay in one place after parting it. So here it is. This is a non-rooted color, so it is blonde all the way to the top, which is not my personal favorite, just because I do have uh, darker bio hair and darker eyebrows. Uh, I kind of like when I have a root, that just helps me to make it a little bit more believable. Well, if you want to go over there, just go over there. Do y'all talk to your wigs? I do sometimes, especially when they're not behaving. There we go. Trying to hide my widow's peak. There we go. All right, I think we're good now. Um, so Young by Ellen Villa, uh, very short bob. It is not touching my shoulders at all, nothing in the back, which is really nice because that means that this is going to wear very well. It's not gonna get all ragged uh, quickly on you. Um, it's, it's, it's long enough that I can tuck it behind an ear, which is great. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty edgy style, really. I mean, it's shorter, a little bit layered. It's not, it's not a blunt cut. It's definitely layered on the side as well. Let me do a 360 so you guys can just see what she looks like um, on all sides. <laughs> Especially if you're looking to get into more, ooh, it's too warm in here for glasses. Especially if you're getting into the more um, shorter styles, this is a really good uh, style to start with. If you're not sure if you want to do a pixie or not, this is a nice, cute bob. You can kind of get some volume in there uh, and help it to, you know, yeah, help it have a little bit more shape instead of just box hair. So I think it's actually really, really cute. Let's talk about the specs. Um, so we have a bang of nine inches, 
which it's my face is a seven inch face. So I would say that is accurate. Uh, the crown is also nine inches while the sides are six inches. That's that layering that you guys see throughout there and a nape of only 2.5 inches. So pretty short nape as well. Again, not going to rub on your clothing, not going to get all frayed from that friction. Uh, it is 2.6 ounces. Very, very light. Actually, I don't really feel it on my head. It's so light. Um, especially if I were just to tuck it behind my ears. I mean, I don't really feel like I'm wearing much of anything to tell you the truth. Uh, and how it fits. I mean, Ellen Villa is a more petite average size for a head, which is what I have. I have a 21.75 inch head. So that's on the petite average size, uh, which means that this fits me like a glove. Fits me great. Um, it does have a little bit of stretch. So if your head is a little bit bigger than mine, it will fit. But if you're talking like 23, 24 inch head, Ellen Villa is probably not going to fit you. Um, it'd be too small for you. They are more on the petite side. Um, but there is stretch. So just because you don't have a petite head, if you have an average head, you can still fit Ellen Villa because um, they do stretch. But for those of us that have a little bit smaller of heads, this is a really, really, really good brand. So Sand Mix, uh, it is a medium ash blonde mix. Uh, with dark blonde, caramel brown, and ash brown throughout. So primarily it is a blonde. It is on the more ash side. Uh, there's a couple of little warmer strands here and there, but overall pretty ashy wig. Sand mix is a very pretty color. Uh, if you get a color, like let's say you pick it up on a sale or something, um, or you pick up a secondhand used wig, um, you can always add rooting using like Clairol Root Touch Up. Um, it's, it's a really great tool for rooting wigs that don't have any rooting, uh, just to give you a little bit of, of that color back to make it look a little bit more natural and match like your eyebrows, for example, like mine. So nice little tip. All right, ladies. So if you want to pick up Young by Ellen Villa and any of the pretty colors that they have, uh, head on over to wigstudio1.com, which is where I get all of my wigs from. Um, and you can also check the description of this video and I will have any coupon codes that exist for it there and I'll keep those up to date for you. And while you're online, head on over to Facebook as well. We have a support group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Uh, you'll find myself, the owner, and employees of Wig Studio One, as well as thousands of other ladies that are there going through their own hair loss journey that are there to help support you. All right, if you're not subscribed, again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye-bye, beautiful.